in this video let us see parabolic equation how to solve parabolic equation under parabolic equation we are having two method first method is called as bender smith method so in this video we are going to solve a problem under bender smith method so first thing is what is the formula for bender smith method is u i comma j plus 1 is equal to lambda into u i minus 1 comma j plus lambda into u i plus 1 comma j plus 1 minus 2 lambda into u i comma j where what is lambda is lambda is equal to k by a h square already we know that h is the interval length along x direction and k is the interval length along y direction or t direction so here uh, we can reduce the general formula by taking lambda is equal to 1 by 2 so if we put lambda is equal to 1 by 2 in the general formula this third term will vanish so the remaining formula can be reduced like this u i comma j plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 into u i minus 1 comma j plus u i plus 1 comma j here since we have considered lambda is equal to 2 if you put lambda is equal to 2 1 by 2 here then it becomes 1 by 2 is equal to k by a h square or otherwise we can write k is equal to a h square by 2 so while using this formula we have to use the relation k is equal to a h square by 2 to identify the value of k or h so now to remember this uh, formula we can use the uh, diagrammatic representation here so the formula is here u i comma j plus 1 so u i comma j plus 1 means uh, if you assume this is to be i comma j plus 1 if this is to be u i comma j plus 1 okay so the adjacent point can be considered as actually here the formula is u i minus 1 comma j i minus 1 means the left side term uh, comma j if this line represents j plus 1 so this line will represent j so this point will be u i minus 1 comma j and similarly this point will be u i plus 1 comma j that is i varies along x axis and j varies along y axis and then here we are considering the axis to be like this we have to consider this is to be x axis and this is to be y axis y axis we are considering downward direction so that here we are taking if this is j plus 1 we are considering this is to be j okay so here to remember this formula u i comma j plus 1 this is the average of these two values which means that average of these two like this you have to remember okay so if you want to find out this particular value you have to take the two values from the previous iteration or previous line and then we have to take the average so like this we can remember the uh, formula for bender smith method okay so average of these two if you take will be getting this value likewise we can find out the remaining values so this is a formula for bender smith method now let us solve the first question using bender smith method solve dou square u by dou x square is equal to 2 into dou u by dou t where x varies from 0 to 4 and t greater than 0 with the given condition u of 0 comma t equal to 0 u of 4 comma t equal to 0 and u of x comma 0 is equal to uh, x into 4 minus x here we have to compute the value of u up to t is equal to 5 by taking h is equal to 1 so first thing is what we have to do here is first we have to write down the values what are given from the question so here a is equal to 2 what is a a is the uh, coefficient of dou u by dou t which is given in the question so this is 2 this is a so a is equal to 2 here and it is given h is equal to 1 from the question now we want to calculate k already using bender smith method what is the value of k is k is equal to a h square by 2 so a is already 2 into 1 square h is 1 divided by 2 so 2 to get cancelled so k is equal to 1 so interval length of x varies by h is equal to 1 similarly interval length of t also varies by taking k is equal to 1 so using these data we have to uh, find out the solution 
before that first we have to form the uh, or we have to write the boundary conditions so what are the boundary conditions here is uh, u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 u of 4 comma t is equal to 0 and u of x comma 0 is equal to x into 4 minus x so using these uh, boundary conditions first we have to write down the boundary values and then we have to further solve the given problem since h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 here x varies from 0 to 4 right because here this is x and this is x so x equal to 0 x equal to 4 means the limit for x is 0 to 4 so here we can start from 0 since h is 1 next value should be 1 2 3 and then 4 so this is x axis next this is t axis and for t what we have to find here is we have to find out the value of uh, that is t greater than 0 and then we have to find up to t is equal to what is given in the question till that we have to find and since here uh, t varies uh, by taking k is equal to 1 so for k is equal to 1 if you assume we can start from uh, 0 1 2 it goes on like this okay so now based on this boundary condition first we have to write down the values here so first boundary condition is given as u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 which means that x takes the value 0 for all values of t t varies so you have to uh, write the boundary values as the first column that is 0 comma t equal to 0 so this this side you have to write up and then u of 4 comma t equal to 0 means this is x equal to 4 so the last column so you have to write the boundary values over the right side okay the last column represents u of 4 comma t equal to 0 and what about u of x comma 0 x comma 0 means uh, x varies and t takes the value 0 so t is equal to 0 represents the first row so here we have to consider this x into 4 minus x okay so now we can plot the values here first boundary values for the first column means it takes the value 0 everywhere so first you put 0 0 0 like this okay here in this problem we have to find out till uh, t is equal to 5 okay so here up to t is equal to 5 we have to find out so we have considered k is equal to 1 and we have uh, written starting from 0 till 5 okay next is this is one boundary value okay so this first boundary value over next the second boundary value is u of 4 comma t equal to 0 means again here also u takes the value 0 everywhere when x is equal to 4 so that means that it is last column so in the last column you have to put 0 okay and then what about the this boundary condition over next the last boundary condition is x comma 0 equal to x into 4 minus x means uh, t is equal to 0 t equal to 0 means first row first row when x is equal to 0 if you put it gives you 0 already we have placed 0 here when x is equal to 1 if you put here 1 into 4 minus 1 1 into 4 minus 1 is what 1 into 4 minus 1 is 3 so you have to put 3 here okay similarly uh, next x is equal to 2 means 2 into 4 minus 2 so 2 into 2 4 okay so that uh, you can find a next for 3 for 3 again 3 into 4 minus 3 is 1 so 1 into 3 is 3 here that's it so like this you have to first write down the boundary values so here we are having three boundaries so using these three boundary conditions we have written all the three boundary values here then we have to do the calculation okay so after putting the values of boundaries so this represents the boundary values okay so once you have written all the boundaries then 
this intermediate values we have to find out using what using the diagrammatic representation so what is a diagrammatic representation if you want to find out a particular value over here you have to take the average of the previous two values okay so this is what you have to find out now what is the average of 0 and 4 0 and 4 is nothing but 2 similarly what is the average of 3 and 3 3 and 3 is 3 so put 3 here again 4 and 0 is 2 so put 2 here and similarly for the next row again 0 and 3 the average is 0 plus 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 Similarly, for 2 and 2, that is 2 plus 2 divided by 2 is 2. Again, 3 plus 0 divided by 2 is 1.5. So, like this, we have to find out the remaining values of u. So, the next row is here 0 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. Again, 1.5 plus 1.5 divided by 2 is 1.5. Again, for 2 and 0, it is 1. Next is 0 and 1.5. So, 0 and 1.5 is 0 plus 1.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.75. Again, for 1 and 1, it is 1. Again, for 1.5 and 0, it is 0 0.75. Next, again, 0 and 1 will be 0 0.5. And then here 0 0.75, again here 0 0.5, that's it. So this is the solution for the given parabolic equation using Bender-Smith method. Okay, so the very important thing is first you should know how to identify k, a, everything and then according to the interval length k and h, first you write the values along x direction, values along t direction then you write the three boundary values using the three boundary condition then using the diagrammatic representation you can find out the intermediate values to see the second question solve the differential equation dou square u by dou x square is equal to dou u by dou t subject to u is equal to u of 0 comma t equal to 0 u of 1 comma t equal to 0 and u of x comma 0 is equal to x into 1 minus x by bender smith method by taking h is equal to uh, 0.2 and then for three time steps so three time steps means we have to find out the answer for three steps that's it okay so first let us uh, write the given data here so first i uh, say that uh, we have to identify what is a a is nothing coefficient of dou u by dou t which is equal to one here so in this problem a takes the value one and h is given to be 0.2 based on h we have to calculate k k is nothing but for bender smith method a h square by two so here a is 1, h is 0.2 whole square divided by 2. So final answer is k is equal to 0 0.02. Okay. So now h is equal to 0.2, k is equal to 0 0.02. And then uh, what are the boundary conditions given here is uh, these three boundary conditions. And here x varies from 0 to 0. 1 because here x starts from 0 and x end at 1 so x varies from 0 to 1 and 3 time steps 3 time steps means we have to uh, consider for 3 time steps that is for t along t direction we have to find out the answer for 3 steps before that first let us write the uh, boundary conditions boundary values that is u of uh, 0 comma t equal to 0 u of uh, 1 comma t equal to 0 and u of x comma 0 is equal to x into 1 minus x okay so this is x axis and let us consider this is to be t axis and since uh, x varies uh, 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and then 1. So x varies from 0 to 1. So we have to start and end at 1 by taking h is equal to 0 0.2. What is k? k is 0 0.02. 
so we have to start from 0 0 0.02 0 0.04 and then 0 0.06 that is three time step okay this is uh, step 1 step 2 step 3 okay time step because first when time t equal to 0 that is the initial condition okay so that should not be considered as a step 1 so after that boundary condition and initial condition the remaining that is I have except that first row starting from the second row we have to uh, count the step so this is step 1 step 2 step 3 so we have to find out till 3 time steps okay so that we have to find out till 0 0.06 so before that first let us write the boundary condition as I said u of 0 comma t means when x is equal to 0 represents the first column it is given to be 0 here. Similarly when u of 1 comma t means x is equal to 1 that is last column. Okay and x into 1 minus x is for x comma 0 that is t equal to 0 means first row. So, when you put x is equal to 0, it is 0. When you put x is equal to 0.2, so 0.2 into 1 minus 0.2 is nothing but 0 0.16. You can calculate. 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8 into 0 0.2 will give you 0 0.16. Similarly, if you put x is equal to 0 0.4, it will be 0 0.24. And if you put 0 0.6, it will be getting again 0 0.24. Again, if you put 0 0.8, it will be getting 0 0.16. So, these are the boundary values. So, after writing the boundary condition, so using diagrammatic representation, we have to find out the remaining values. So, here by taking average of this, that is 0 plus 0 0.24 divided by 2 is 0 0.12. Similarly, 0 0.16 plus 0.24 divided by 2 is 0.2 that is 0.16 plus 0.24 will keep, become 0 0.40 so it will be divided by 2 is 0 0.2 again for 0 0.24 plus 0 0.16 divided by 2 is 0 0.12 similarly for 0 0.24 and 0 it is 0 0.12 right sorry this is 0.2 right 0.24 plus 0.16 by 2 is 0.2 now again 0 plus 0.2 by 2 is 0 0.1 0 0.12 plus 0.2 divided by 2 is 0.16 that is 0 0.32 will get divided by 2 is 0 0.16 similarly here also again 0 0.16 next here it will be 0.1 Next for 0 plus 0 0.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.8. Again here 0 0.1 and 0 0.16 is 0 0.26. It will be divided by 2 will be 0 0.13. Again for 0 0.16 and 0 0.1 it will be 0 0.13. And for 0 0.16 and 0 it will be 0 0.8. That's it. So these are the intermediate values of u which is a solution to the given problem. So, this is what we have to find out. Now, let us see the practice problem. Solve the equation dou square u by dou x square is equal to dou u by dou t and with the given boundary conditions by taking h is equal to 1 and up to 4 seconds. So, here what is a first? a is equal to 1, h is equal to 1. So, that k is equal to a h square by 2. So, A is equal to 1, H is also 1. So, 1 divided by 2 or otherwise you can take it as 0 0.5. So, now we can assume A is equal to 1 is given. H is equal to 1 and K is equal to 0 0.5. And keeping K is equal to 0 0.5, you have to find out up to T is equal to 4. It is given up to 4 seconds you have to find out. So, you have to find out up to 4 starting from 0 by considering k is equal to 0.5. So, this you can practice.